हेलो स्टूडेंट्स अकाउंटिंग सॉफ्टवेयर इज सॉफ्टवेयर दैट डज देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ अकाउंटिंग सॉफ्टवेयर फर्स्ट वन इज बिलिंग और इनवर्सिंग सॉफ्टवेयर सेकंड इज पेरोल मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम एंड थर्ड वन इज ई आर पी सिस्टम द फर्स्ट वन दैट इज बिलिंग और इनवाइसिंग सॉफ्टवेयर accounting software in the operational field of invoicing or billing takes care of company's basic billing activities and they also serve the day to day tasks which a business undertakes including check writing and informing customers on their due payments etc friends billing or invoicing softwares are specially designed or used for the business organizations because they have to deal with lots of invoices on the daily basis and that is why such type of softwares are fulfilling their needs of billing or invoicing with the help of systematic programs and lots of customized options are given in such type of billing softwares the second one that is payroll management system this category of accounting software in india manages the company's payroll registers performs an array of different tasks including calculating employee salaries cutting deductions depositing the salary directly into staff members bank accounts producing tax forms and pay slips and many more the payroll management system that means managing the internal record of the employees so there is a separate department is designed in every organization nowadays which is called as human resource department so the payroll system is specially designed for the human resource department of the organization this type of system manages the records of the employees whenever organization needs them then it is easier to to manage this record or to generate record with the help of payroll management system the third one that is erp system erp stands for enterprise resource planning this category of accounting software solution handles the operational portfolio that combines all systems used for product planning material purchasing inventory management and control distribution accounting marketing finance human resource and many more erp system is that category of software where the all business needs can be sorted out properly that means prior to this prior to erp system we only having a billing type of softwares and a software through which we can maintain the records or we can save the records for the different purposes but the erp is an intelligent system where we can also perform lots of business related tasks such as product planning purchasing marketing related activities can be planned with the help of erp systems so it is an extraordinary feature of the accounting softwares through which along with maintaining the records we can also use that record for the planning purposes sometimes or many times the software gives instructions or provide some type of guidelines regarding the planning related to the production marketing finance and lot of other activities related to the business so the next point to be considered is use of an accounting software so the accounting software simplify the accounts if the accounting is done manually then it is a difficult task because there is lots of calculations and lot of accounting statements needs to be prepared with the proper adjustments also but if we are using an automated system then 
modern accounting software automates repetitive tasks and such various types of repetitive tasks such as invoicing statements uh, payments reminders and collections reporting and budgeting so all these tasks which don't have to manually go through each of the process which is time consuming and adds up to the employees cost should be reduced with the help of accounting software it also maintains the transparency accounting transparency means offering a clear concise and balanced view of company's financial situation to the shareholders or stakeholders or any other persons which are directly or indirectly related with the company the importance of accounting transparency is very much important in the eyes of law also that is why the accounting software also provide the this type of facility to the users along with the accurate forecasting of the business needs with the help of this feature the businessman can forecast the financial needs of their businesses because the systems like erp also provides some type of analysis or conclusions to the users and that is why the accurate forecasting of the business can be possible with the help of such systems now along with all these type of softwares the next part of the syllabus that is tally erp9 so the tally is an most popular accounting software used in india it is complete enterprise software for small and medium enterprises tally erp9 is a perfect business management solution and gst software with an ideal combination of function control and inbuilt customizability tally is an indian software and also popular in other countries it is a enterprise resource planning software as discussed earlier it is usable for lot of planning activities also tally 9 tally erp9 is a latest version of tally and also having the capability of maintaining accounts with the gst with the help of tally web support we can also connect tally to the different branches located in the different different uh, areas geographical areas where the business are expanded so it is a very much ideal flexible and important software before uh, going to the features of the tally software first we have to understand how to create company in tally erp9 so when we open tally first thing that we have to do done that is creating a company in tally the tally provides facility where through we can create multiple companies in tally and also perform lots of accounting related activities for every company after opening a tally we are having a window which is known as gateway of tally through which we can jump to the next window that is company info window where we have an option of create a company with this option as you can see on the uh, screen there is company info window is here 
and under which there are multiple options when we have we use tally first time then we have to use this create company option if we having an already created company in tally then here the list of created companies or selected companies is appear if we already create a company in tally then that company will appear here otherwise we have to create a new company with the help of this create company option so as you can see on the screen this is called company creation window of the tally the first option is directory so we can see here a path like c colon slash users slash public slash tally dot erp9 slash data so with this option we can provide a path to the tally where the data which is created in the tally are getting stored this directory path is the location of the hard drive of our computer where the tally generate the files and uh, save it on that location we can also change that location and save to the uh, save our tally data on the different location of our hard drive the second option is name with the help of which we can uh, create or save a name of our company then the primary mailing details under this there are multiple options like mailing name address country state pin code with the help of these options we can fill the details of our company which is related to the uh, mailing details then the contact details along with the name of the website the phone number mobile fax email can be saved with these multiple options then the books and financial year details have to provide by the user there are two options financial year begins and books beginning from financial year is always begins as all we know on the 1st april of the year then it may happen that the business is recording started uh, recording their books of accounts on the another date so here we can give that date from where the business started to record their books of accounts so books beginning from option is given for this purpose then the security related options security control is there with the help of which we can provide password to the company that we are going to create it every time when we open that company tally demands for this password which will provide here with the help of these two options tally vault password and youth security control then on the downside of the this screen we can see the base currency information here we can <coughs> provide the currency related information like the symbol of the currency the name of the currency uh, the appearance or display position of our currency related or amount related uh, for manipulation of this display settings is given here with the with these multiple options like suffix symbol to amount if we here set to yes then the symbol base currency symbol which we provide that could be a suffix with the amount every time when the amount is appear on the reports the currency symbol is display also number of decimal places if we need a amount in paisa then here we can also provide the number of decimal places like this the, the multiple options are available here so this is the company creation window and by filling all these details we are uh, registering our company with the tally so the step 3 
company creation screen update the details and after updating all the required details of company Tally asks to to save the entire details so yes or no options are appeared if we say if we provide yes then the details are saved and the company is created in Tally so today we discussed on the accounting softwares and how to create company in Tally if any questions then you can mail on the following mail which is appear on the screen thank you thank you very much